Hello, and welcome to the Green Label Plus training module for Broadloom Carpet and Carpet Cushion. In this video, we will cover the proper procedure for the collection of Broadloom Carpet and Carpet Cushion under the Green Label Plus testing program. Proper sample collection ensures that testing can be carried out without impacting the outcome of the test. The Green Label Plus program prides itself on being one of the best standards for indoor air quality and flooring. Your participation in this program helps us continue that tradition. Before we begin, let's cover some important information about the Green Label Plus program. The CRI GLP certification indicates that the manufacturer voluntarily participates in these programs and is committed to developing products with minimal adverse effects on indoor air quality. CRI is committed to be a source of extensive, science-based information on carpet, cushion, and adhesive for consumers, writers, interior designers, specifiers, facility managers, architects, builders, building owners, and managers, installation contractors, and retailers. Now, let's cover sample collection. When gathering a sample for testing, do not let the sample come in contact with other surfaces. Be sure your knife is clean and free of any oils or solvents. Always wear latex gloves when preparing samples. Collection must be made at the end of the manufacturing process. You will be directed about the proper location at each facility. All sample kits will contain one 5 mil minimum Mylar bag one press and seal bag containing one chain of custody form, one sample collection, packaging, and shipping instructions, one zip tie, one pair of natural latex gloves, and one UL shipping label. It is important to remember to prepare these materials before beginning a sample collection. At the cutting or finishing line, Ask the operator to cut off a sample at 12 inches wide for the full length of the carpet or cushion. While it is not required, it is recommended that the sample be 18 to 24 inches away from the seam. Cut off 6 to 8 inches off the first side of the sample. Roll the sample with the face fiber in and the back towards you. Be sure to follow all the safety guidelines of the facility. Cut 6 to 8 inches off the other side of the sample. It is okay to have an associate assist you in collection of a sample, as in this example. However, be sure they are also wearing natural latex gloves. Be careful not to touch the inside of the Mylar bag. Roll or fold the bag to remove as much air as possible. Twist the top of the Mylar bag and use a zip tie to seal the bag as tightly as possible. Complete the chain of custody form section collector information. Now complete the chain of custody form section shipping information. Be sure to get a copy 
of the completed chain of custody form to return to CRI. Fold the chain of custody form and place it in the plastic slip. Remove the adhesive strips from the plastic slip and place on the mylar bag. While it is not required, it can be helpful to place the slip on the seam as in this example. Place the sample in the shipping container. Seal and tape all corners of the shipping box. Place the shipping label on the side of the shipping container. Prepare the sample for shipment per the GLP shipping instructions. Then drop off the shipment at the nearest shipping location. You have now completed the sample collection.